Now we wanna move on to actually deploying this project online. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it completely for free. And this will work with any React application. What we wanna do is open a new terminal and go to our command prompt. And we simply wanna make sure that we're in our project folder, React app, which we are here. And this can be named anything you guys want. And we want to run the command npm run build and we'll go ahead and let that do its thing and you guys will notice that it creates what's called a dist folder here and this is including all your assets from your project what you want to do is navigate to your web browser and we're going to be using netlify here today to host this online completely for free and so if you guys haven't created an account already go ahead and sign up. And what I'll do is go ahead and log in. And I always log in with my GitHub account because I trust it, but that's up to you guys as far as what you guys are comfortable with. And once you guys are in Netlify, what you wanna do is navigate to team overview here and you wanna go to where it says add new site, click on that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and deploy it manually today, but you can import it from GitHub if you want. So we'll click deploy manually, and then you need to open the folder where your project is located. So I'll navigate to that folder, and then you simply want to grab and hold your disk file. And then what you wanna do is just drag it into here and drop it like so. And then we'll let that go ahead and do its thing. And once it's ready, it will say open production deploy. Go ahead and click on that. And now you guys can see that this is online and hosted completely for free and it's completely functional as you guys can see. So we'll go ahead and enter some values just so you guys can see the functionality and everything works like it should. And you guys are gonna notice that it gives you some crazy domain name like this. If you wanna go ahead and change that domain, go back to Netlify, go over here on the left side to site configurations, scroll down where it says site information here and then you can simply change your site name. So let's say I wanna call this real estate for example like so and unfortunately since it's free it's always going to include .netlify.app at the end but you can customize the subdomain name so we'll go ahead and hit save and it looks like that's already taken and we'll just call this Kalman web design real estate because i'm sure that is available and then we'll go ahead and hit save and now you have your own semi-custom i would consider it domain even though you have netlify.app at the end so you can go ahead and navigate to that and again this is completely online you can use this as a portfolio project or whatever you guys want to do with this tap here to see what happens next <laughs>